Hi, and welcome back to uh, part 10 of the tutorial. Double digits now. I think we might get to maybe between 15 and 20 parts to the series. Um, anyway, part 10 today will be about uh, the add a friend screen. So I'll be making that screen and then I'll put in a feature to uh, make sure that the friend ID that you're trying to add exists. And then um, I'll add that friend ID that you just added, if it exists, to your friends list. And then also to do this, we had to update our Firebase rules. So I'll show that too. Okay, let's get, st let's get started. Um, we're gonna need a new screen. So I'll make a new KV file called addfriend.kv. And I'll create a class in here. I'll call it addfriendscreen. Oh, actually, to follow my naming my naming convention, this should be add friend screen dot kv. Okay. All right, and let me put that blue background in there. That's how I always start. Okay, and now we get to the friend screen from the setting screen. So let's go to setting screen, and the buttons. Uh, let's see, here's an add friend button. This is the image button. So instead of printing something, I actually need to go to my screen now. So I'll do app.change screen, um, add friend screen. All right, and then I'll have to do the same thing for the label, the add a friend label. Um, and actually this, this back button I don't have it doing anything yet. <laughs> so from the settings screen, let's just fix that. Uh, if you hit back in the settings screen, you should change screens to the home screen. Okay. Uh, now let's get our base class in there for the add a friend screen. So class add friend screen. All right just as we have been doing in the past. Make sure that's all right. Add friend screen, okay, good. And now I'll go to main.kv. Oops, what did I do? That's not what I wanted. Get back there. Okay, we need to include that screen. So include kv slash add friend screen. And then we'll go all the way to the bottom and add it to my screen manager so I can actually switch to it. Uh, add friend screen. Follow the naming convention that I've had this whole time. For the name and the ID. Okay, let's see what happens. So my app starts up and it's remembered me uh, from the last video, I still have an auth token or a refresh token there. All right, add a friend screen. Okay, perfect, blank screen. So I think what I'm going to have here is just a simple text input. It'll say put a friend ID here or something. Then I'll have a back button and a like go button, and I'll have maybe a message that's hidden at first. But if something goes wrong, it'll display what's wrong. Like if that friend ID doesn't exist. Okay, so let's go create that. I'll use a float layout as the base, as I normally do. Text input. ID will be uh, friend, add friend, input. All right, uh, pause hint. Let's just say top is 0.8. I don't know. Uh, right, probably 0.9. I'm going to go to size hint 2. Uh, width, I'll say, is point, uh, 0.8. Height is point, point 0.1. Okay, and then I'll put in a label. That'll be my hidden message. ID uh, add friend label. Copy the size and pause hint. Mm -hmm. Put it down a little bit. And then I'm going to need two image buttons. 
source for the first one, this will be the back button. So if I go into icons, uh, let's see here, back.png. Okay, so icon slash back.png. Uh, size and position. Uh, I don't know, maybe half of the whole width and 0.2 on the height. So then top should be 0.2 and right we'll say is 0.5. And then on release, so this is the back button, so I'd want to go back to the setting screen. App.change screen setting screen. Alright, let's copy all of that because we need another button. This one will be our uh, like our go button. So I have one in here called next. That'll do for now. Next dash one. Okay, and we'll put it all the way to the right. Keep the size the same. And we don't want it to change screen here. We want it to call some new function that I haven't defined yet. Let's say add friend. And obviously we'll need to pass it the add friend input text. So add friend input dot text. And let me use that hint text that I showed in an earlier video. So I'll say uh, type friend ID here. Okay, let's see if that works. Okay, settings, add a friend. Does that look okay? Uh, those could be a bit smaller and maybe a little bit more to the sides and up a bit more, but this is fine. Okay, press back, takes me back, good. So let's just quickly make these smaller. We'll go keep the same up the same, but make it a bit smaller. So it's off the bottom. And then maybe 0.4. Oh no, that, that, that can stay the same. All right, and then let's go ahead and write this function, the add friend button, or add friend function. So in here, I'll create a new function. def add friend and it takes the friend ID. All right, so with this, we're gonna to need to query database and make sure friend ID exists, right? If it doesn't, display it doesn't in the message on the friend add friend screen. And then if it does, display success or something along those lines. All right. Um, and I think that's all we really need. Oh, yeah. And then if it does, uh, add to friends list. There. I think that's all. Okay. So query the database and make sure friend ID exists. This one we're going to do, be doing something with Firebase I haven't showed yet, and that's uh, querying to get keys. So the URL that I'll query uh, will look like this. Okay, so I'll say check rec for check request is request dot get https is this this stuff down here. <clears throat> okay, get get all of this. Um, and then I need to go slash dot JSON and then I'll use um, question mark to let it know I'm sending some like information and I'll say order by okay so before when I was using, using this question mark I sent my auth token using the using auth as a keyword here but I'm gonna use order by and I'll say equals and actually these should be single quotes on the outside because I will need to use uh, double quotes inside. So this is querying my top level 
okay, this slash dot JSON, that's my top level of the database. Oops. Uh, so I'm saying get me keys inside the top level that have uh, this field called my friend ID. And then I want to also say and equal to equals and then I'll do uh, I'll add my friend ID here that I want to add okay so let's look at the database so we can see what that's doing all right so I'm querying firebase.com slash dot JSON so I'm querying the top level here I'm saying get me any of these guys and order them by their my friend ID attribute okay that's what this part is order by my friend ID and make sure whatever you return uh, the my friend ID parameter is equal to what I'm passing it okay so that makes good sense uh, the only thing is you have to set up rules to explicitly allow this so one of them is this dot index on rule so in my rules here this is still the top level I need to write index on so that I can allow any type of order by um, requests so if I wanted to order by avatars you know find everybody who had like the boy avatar I would need to add a field in here uh, like avatar okay so that would let me say uh, order by avatar if you don't have that you'll get an error and if you read the error uh, from your get request it'll say you need to write an index to to work with that parameter okay this one is a little bit more tricky <clears throat> this means allow reads uh, in my top level allow reads only if the query that I'm sending and this is a special keyword just like auth is that Firebase knows about internally so when it when I write query here it knows that the query is uh, like this thing this part okay so only allow reading at the top level if my query uh, is trying to order by my friend ID all right otherwise since I don't have any other like dot read is truer here if I just leave dot read blank it goes to false automatically that's the most secure way um, that's just the default of Firebase so this dot read and then making sure my query is trying to order by my friend ID so really if I wanted to order by avatars here I would have to say query dot order by child equals equals my friend ID then I could do like an, an or statement which I think is uh, the double like double pipes uh, I know and is double ampersand so I'd say something like or query dot order by child equals equals avatar something like that if I want to work with avatars too but I'm only working with my friend ID okay so let's get rid of that good so now when I try to add a friend I'll be finding all of the uh, unique IDs in my database that have that friend ID okay so the response is either gonna have something in there which mean which means the friend exists or it's gonna be an empty dictionary like that which means that's not available so the, the user screwed up or something so let's uh, print check rec dot JSON and we'll also print check rec dot okay all right so just those that we can see exactly where these guys are so let's see if that works all right settings add a friend if I put in something ridiculous here and I hit go let's see what happened okay 
it was allowed, so it let it happen because of those rules that I set up, but it returned something empty, which means nobody has that ID, which is true. Right now in the last video you saw, I think I only have IDs of one, two, or maybe three. So if I write three here and I hit go, let's see what happens. Scroll down, true. Okay, so it worked out the same. And then I have this. This is the unique identifier for the user. Remember the user is the email and password combination. So this is the unique identifier for the user who has my friend ID of three. All right, so I can go look at this guy. So XTL whatever, whatever in my database. Let's take a look. That's him, right? XTL or whatever. My friend ID is three. Perfect, so it worked. So what I can do here, I know this will work every time. So I'll say if uh, check rec dot json um, is an empty dictionary, we need to this part display that there's an error. <clears throat> So I'm gonna to need to update, let's see, this label here, the add friend label. So I'll copy that. And now I need to go self.root.ids. Um, let's see, it's in the add friend screen, right? And then I need the, the IDs of that screen and then I'll get the add friend label. I'll say dot text equals uh, invalid friend ID. Let's see if it works. Settings at friend. Let's see what happens if it's just blank. Did I get an error. Oh no, because I <laughs> I do have some 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 entries in here like this one that don't have anything in there so let me put some junk in there invalid friend ID perfect okay good so now let's see if it let's say else right um, else it's gonna return something like this uh, a dictionary with the key here, right? And then another dictionary as the value of this key. So what do I want to do? Um, I want to get the friend ID for this person, right? So I'll say, say data is uh, check rec.json. Actually, I'll say this a little bit earlier. All right, if data is empty dictionary, okay. Else, uh, new friend ID is data, and then I will, let's see, let's see, key, so the key, I need to get this guy, right? So the key is data.keys, That'll return all the keys. Uh, and I'll just need the first entry because it'll always be just one. All right, so I'll get that one. And then I need the parameter from him that's called my friend ID. All right. And here it actually returned more than one person had a friend ID of one, but once I actually set things up properly and delete some of the junk from earlier, you'll never have a person, two people with the same friend ID. It, it should be unique. Okay, so let's see if this worked. Print new friend ID. New friend ID. Okay, let's try it. All right, let's type three here and go. New friend is three. Okay, it worked. So I got the new friend ID properly using the data and the keys, okay? 
Good. So now we're going to need to uh, let's post the success. So I'll take this guy and I'll paste it. That text equals um, friend ID plus I'll do this. Friend ID percent s added successfully. Successfully. Shoot. Is that how you spell that? Spelling. Typo. Come on. Okay. And self, not elf. And then percent friend ID. Okay, nice. And then we're going to need to, um, let's see, add friend ID to friends list and post new or patch, patch new friends list. Right, that sounds good. Um, so I think somewhere when we load up, when we're getting all this data, we're getting the avatar image, we're getting the streak label. Remember, that's all from like this information. So let me get the uh, friends list as well. So I'll say get friends list. So friends list. Actually, I want to do self.friends list because I'm going to reference it from the function that I've been working on. Okay. So friend, self.friends list is data friends. Right? Right. Okay. Uh, I think that's all I need. Yeah. I think so. Um, where's my function? Here it is. Now I'll say self.friends list, and I will uh, add, let's see, how does it come in right now if I have more than one friend? It's a string separated by commas. Okay, so I'll add a comma and the friend ID. Okay, and then I'm gonna need to patch to the database. So I'll say um, patch rec is requests.patch. HTTPS. I'll grab this friendly fitness link. All right. Um, I'm not patching to the root level. I'm patching to, I need the local ID here. So did I save local ID? somewhere, ID token, local ID. Okay, let me save the local ID. All right, because remember the local ID is this parameter, this key right there. All right, where am I? Here, so percent S, local, oops, self.local ID. Right, so I'm posting to the local ID, or sorry, patching, um, and dot, dot JSON. Okay, and then I need to get some data going, so patch data will be uh, the string, so we'll say friends, and then gets need percent s here self dot friends list okay let's see if that works don't forget to send the data data equals patch data print patch data patch right dot okay and print patch right dot con dot json Okay, let's see if it works. So whatever the ID is of the 
of the person I'm logged in as right now, we should see turn yellow because I'll have modified their friends list. But I'm not sure which one exactly it'll be here. <laughs> okay, so let's add a friend. Whatever, whoever has the friend ID of three. Okay, so the label worked out fine, but the patch request did not work. Okay, it did not like my, oh, whoops, I forgot a bracket there. Okay, second attempt. Here we go, add a friend, three. Let's check it now. Could not parse JSON. Oh, I think I need double quotes here as well. These are pretty finicky, and I mean, the rules make sense, but you just gotta remember them perfectly every time. Otherwise, you might get confused. Permission denied. Oh, okay. So I need to send my auth token as well, because in my rules, sorry for swiping back and forth so many times, and sorry also for the sirens in the background. I live next to a uh, fire station. Okay, so in my rules, I said, you're only allowed to write to uh, one of the one of the local IDs if you send your token and you are that local ID. So I need to also send an authorization token, auth equals percent %s. And now in my string formatting, I need to send self.id token as well, right? And self.id token should be here. Okay, let's try one more time. Oops, I have an extra percent. Here we go. Settings, add a friend, three. Let's get back to the database. If it works, we should see something change colors. Here we go. Boom. We got it. You can see that in my friends area here, I have comma three, just as, just as I've added. This isn't perfect that I have the comma in there, but it's fine for now. Let's try adding a new friend. Let's try two. Perfect. Got a new friend in there. Looks good. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.